Right folks, and welcome back. So, it's been a bit of a hectic weekend. It's actually Monday morning. Um, can't go to work at present because we've uh, got no vans. That's another story, but um, we're waiting on one of the new vans uh, getting fixed that's just uh, just arrived. Problem with it, so uh, it arrived about half 11 last night. Um, but it's not fit to drive to Aberdeen, so just waiting on it being fixed, so I thought I'd do a wee video. Uh, been working on the chassis all weekend. Um, quite a lot of... It's provoked quite a lot of comments on Facebook. A lot of people think I've just painted a galvanised chassis with red oxide, which I've not. In the last video, we degreased it. We did, we did it with the Mordant T-Wash. We then washed the salt off. We did it with etch primer, acid etch primer. And then we've done it with two coats of red oxide, so we've done it that side up, flipped it with the digger. I didn't video that because I've got somebody helping me that doesn't like being on camera. But basically given it, it it's, it's all had two coats of red oxide. Some parts will have had four coats, so we've put it thicker on the top of the chassis rails, thinner there so it doesn't run. You know, it is what it is. It's brush painted. I didn't see the point in getting the compressor set up because it is a chassis, the only bit you're going to see is a rear cross member and I will rub that down and give it a bit more attention. Now, we had some problems with the paint I did buy for the chassis. I used some of it on the bulkhead over red oxide and it reacted. It has settled down and some of the crinkling's gone out of it and it has adhered to a certain extent. It's not come out anywhere near the finish I'd like. It's um, matte. Mm just kind of manky looking it's not it's not a nice glossy paint finish so I've ordered some I think it's called Rylard boat hull paint now it seems to be quite common to use that in New Zealand on Land Rover chassis um, I've been told on Facebook I bought the wrong stuff but um, it's an MIO uh, top coat it's used for boat hulls bitumen based so it's ideal for going over the red oxide it won't react it's got metal iron oxide in it so and it's also got um, like resins and stuff so it goes really hard um, it's meant for putting on like narrow boats going up canals that get bashed all the time so it's about 55 quid for five litres which is pretty reasonable compared with other chassis paints so I'm waiting on that coming this week and that's what we're gonna do we're going to use the whole five litres on it, so we'll just keep painting it until it's gone. Um, paint it upside down initially, leave it to dry for a week, we'll flip it over, give it a good paint. And that's basically my paint system. Um, you know, I've already explained why we are painting the chassis. We're in quite an extreme location here. The sea air, the salt, um, just even if it doesn't get road salt on it, everything rusts around here even galvanised field gates, we paint our galvanised field gates just to give them extra protection. Also galvanised chassis and Land Rovers with galvanised chassis are getting nicked and they're quite, quite, um, quite desirable to criminals. So I think a badly painted chassis, you know, it will... This Land Rover we're not doing up to sell, we're doing for it to be ours for life. So I don't worry too much about the cosmetics, it's, um, it's more reliability over cosmetics. It will be sprayed and look nice, but I don't want the bling on show so somebody goes, oh, you know, I'll nick that. I don't want it getting nicked and exported to America, so I don't care, it looks a bit shit. You know, at the end of the day, this is the way I'm doing it, it's my choice. It's not to everybody's taste, I've, I've kind of seen that, you know. A lot of people are horrified that I'm painting it, but... You know this is what we've decided to do so that's the update um and we'll do another one next week